Hi guys, um, how you doing? We are doing another chapter 3 video. We're back into section 3.2 if you use the same book as we do in class. And our essential question that we're going to write down in our notes today is how can I simplify expressions? So most likely you're watching this video and you've already learned how to solve equations. Maybe, maybe you haven't, but maybe you have. And simplifying and solving are two different things. So you have to be kind of careful when you're reading directions about these types of problems. And let me show you what I mean. Here is a simplify example. I'm going to write example. So I might say, okay, can you simplify? Simplify. 2x minus 3 plus x plus 7. Now this is really, really different. Then if I said, okay, let me put another example down here, just to kind of go with this. That, this is different than if I said, solve x minus 4 equals 8. How are these two problems different? Well, I mean, besides the, the directions, one says simplify and one says solve. But what else makes them different? Well, one of them has an equal sign. And then the other does not. And so that is really crucial. That's kind of a main idea today. And I'm going to draw a little arrow here to simplify. When you have a simplify problem, you're not solving for x. You're not going to find what x is. Um, you're not going to have an x equals answer. It's not going to happen because there's no equal sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle around this and a big slash. That is not going to happen. You are not going to get an answer for x. You, that might and probably should happen when it says solve. When it says solve, you are going to get an x equals answer. You're going to solve for x and get a solution. And that is the big difference between these two. Simplify kind of just means clean the problem up, put things together that go together. Solve means get an actual answer. So if I was going to simplify, I would see the 2x and the x, and I'd be like, well, those are kind of key things. They go together. So I would rewrite this as 2x, that's this piece, plus x, that's this piece. And then the minus 3 and the plus 7, those are just kind of regular numbers. The minus 3 and the plus 7, I'm going to put those together as well. 2x plus x makes 3x's. And negative 3 plus 7, let's see, different signs subtract. So 7 take away 3 is 4. This is my simplified solution. So I haven't really solved for x. I don't have an answer. I've just cleaned the problem up. And we call that, I call it cleaning the problem up, but what it really is is we've combined like terms. We're combining things that go together. Combined like terms. Put that off to the side of my notes. Combining means you put them together. We put the x's together. We put the numbers together. We didn't solve. We just cleaned it up. We just combined like terms. Solving is where you actually put the line down the equal sign and you say, hey, I'm going to get x by itself and get an answer. So like if it's x minus 4, you're like, I'm going to take that minus 4, flip it over to a positive 4 to get rid of it, get the x by itself, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So in this case, x is equal to 12. So do you see the difference between a simplified problem and a solved problem? Because there is pretty, a pretty big difference there. Um, simplify, we don't end up with an answer. We're not solving for x. We're just cleaning up and combining like terms. Versus solving, we put the line down the middle. We're getting x or whatever variable we're solving for. It doesn't have to be x. It could be anything, w, y, whatever letter you choose. But you're coming up with a solution. So for the rest of this video, we're going to practice some of these simplify problems that get a little more complicated and challenging for people. So let's do a new example and let's practice our simplify. So I'm going to write simplify as my directions. Okay, let's do one that involves some parentheses. So here's my simplify problem. I have parentheses 2x minus 8 plus parentheses 9 minus x. Remember these? We've seen these in earlier videos before. What do we do with these? Well, the parentheses sometimes mean I need to take care of some, some stuff, but in this problem, not really. I actually don't need these parentheses. All I'm saying is this group of stuff is adding to this group of stuff. That's not very mathematical sounding, but that's really what it means. 
So I'm going to get rid of the parentheses because it's a plus. I, I feel like no problem. I'm just going to change this to 2x minus 8 plus 9 minus x. And then I'm going to do what we did in the last example where we combine like terms. So I'm looking at the 2x and the minus x thinking, okay, those probably should go together. They are like terms. They're the same thing. And then the negative 8 plus 9, negative 8 plus 9. I'm going to rearrange this problem a little bit. And then I'm just going to combine things together that go together. 2x minus x is 1x. 2x's take away an x is 1x. And negative 8 plus 9 is different sign subtract. So 9 take away 8 is 1. So we get 1x plus 1. Or better yet, why don't I just write x plus 1. And there's our solution. That's Well, that's our simplified um, expression. So I circle it. It's not really a solution. It's more of a simplified expression. Simplified expression. I'm going to write that down. And then I'm done. Now, um, let me show you how I could have made this problem a little more challenging. If I change this plus sign to a minus sign, everything becomes a little bit harder. And I'll, get, I'll show you. I'm going to do one down below down here. So next example. Let's say we want to simplify. And this time, our parentheses are going to be 4w take away 3 minus w minus 7. Okay, this problem just got harder. And the reason is purely because of this subtraction sign that's in the middle here. What I'm going to do is want to get rid of the parentheses. I don't want the parentheses. So the 4w minus 3, I'm just going to write 4w minus 3 without the parentheses. But the w minus 7, if I write it without the parentheses, here's where it gets tricky. I'm supposed to be subtracting the w minus 7. So I'm supposed to subtract the w and subtract the minus 7. Well, look what happens. I end up with two subtraction signs. And a lot of people do this. They'll draw arrows. We call that distributing the subtraction sign. We want to subtract both of these items. We're going to take away the w and we're going to take away the minus 7. Well, what does a take away a negative turn into? Two negatives make up positive. So when I rewrite this, I have 4w minus 3. Now I have minus w, and minus minus turns into a plus 7. And now I can rearrange and combine my like terms, but I had to be really careful about this. So I'm going to put the 4w and the minus w together. Get rid of those. And I'm going to put the negative 3 and the plus 7 together. So negative 3 and the plus 7 uh, together. And then let's see, 4w take away a w is 3w. And negative 3 plus 7 is different sign subtract. 7 take away 3 is 4. So here we go. 3w plus 4 is our simplified expression. And there it is. But notice what I had to do here. I had to be really careful with this subtraction sign. A lot of people make a common mistake here, forgetting to fix this minus 7 into a minus minus, which is a plus. That, that's really hard to do. So I'm going to have you try now. We'll do a you try problem. And for your you try, here's what you're going to do. Your you try is, of course, simplify. So we're going to simplify. And you're going to simplify parentheses 3 minus x minus parentheses 4x minus 5. There is your problem. Parentheses 3 minus x. Take away parentheses 4x minus 5. Right now, hit that pause button on your device and see if you can do this all on your own. Give it a, give it a shot to test yourself out and see if you're getting a handle on this. And then when you're ready, unpause the device and see if you got it. All right, go. Okay, so are you ready to check your answer? Hopefully you've already simplified this. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to get rid of the parentheses. You're going to have 3 minus x. But then because it's a takeaway problem, you're going to distribute the minus sign into the parentheses like so. So it's going to be a minus 4x, and then it's going to be a minus minus 5, so minus minus 5. And we just talked in the last example how minus minus becomes a plus. So this is 3, take away x, take away 4x, minus minus becomes a plus 5. Okay, let's combine like terms and get things together. 
So what can I combine? Well, the minus x and the minus 4x probably go together. So minus x minus 4x. We'll deal with that in a minute. And then the 3, which is a positive 3, and the plus 5, which is a plus 5. Those should go together. Now the 3 plus 5, that's going to be easy math. There, that's 8. I already know that. The minus x and the minus 4x is technically KCC. It's keep, change, change. So it's kind of like negative x, keep, plus negative 4x. Remember how we can change it? So really, together, combine that. All together, that's negative 5x's. A negative x plus four more negative x's makes five negative x's. So we get negative five x plus eight. There is our solution. There's our simplified expression. How did you do? Did you get the same thing as me? How about that negative five x? Did you get the same thing there? That's a little bit tricky. I bet a lot of people might have gotten like a three x instead of a five x. So just kind of look out for that. So guys, to wrap up this video, I really hope that your takeaway it's just kind of reviewing how to simplify these expressions with the parentheses, how to get rid of the parentheses, be kind of careful about this minus sign, and really recognize how simplifying and solving are two different things. Solving, you actually get an answer for x, versus simplifying, we're just combining like terms and cleaning it up. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.